Imagine a conscious contact with God so strong that no matter what you are doing or not doing, that no matter what your kids are up to or not up to, and that whether you've got the person of your dreams or they're just not cooperating, that you are happy, content, and at peace. A space where everyone else's thoughts, attitudes, and actions are beautiful and exactly as they are supposed to be. Well, this is the space where I like to play. My name is Misha Z, and this is today's Bitch Slap. Join me as I shed light on the thoughts, actions, and attitudes that are causing you pain, and we train our minds to go to the capital S inner self, the joy that is waiting for us, the God within. Well, it is happening. There is a major change in store. There sure is. Major change for the Bitch Slap podcast is in order. Um, So let's talk about that for a little bit, shall we? Okay, let's do it. Um, Very exciting, right? On these past few episodes, I've been talking about um, shifts in who I want to help and serve, who I can help and serve, I believe, who I'm best suited to to help, and uh, it's definitely clear that uh, I'm going to help people who want to help people. I'm, I'm going to pivot away from the, from the, um, not going to, I am, I am pivoting away from the, shall we say, divorced dad or, who was trying to, you know, find new passion or or pivoting away from the, you know, the, (coughs) excuse me, the A-type who's trying to realign and refine their direction. I just had this epiphany, you know, that definitely was super strong at Funnel Hacking Live, which is that um, entrepreneurial marketing conference, online marketing conference, um, that um, what brings me joy is talking business, talking business strategy, talking marketing strategy. It's been a big part of my life for a long time. I love it. It makes my heart shine. I um, uh, So I'm going to go that direction. And I've got some great focus and ideas on uh, who I'm going to help uh, with that. Um, maybe I'll get to that here, but... Uh, what I was going to, I think the value I bring as well as, you know, bring in the spiritual perspective for sure that I have into the business arena as I reemerge into the business arena because um, I have great tools, techniques, strategies to stay heart centered, to stay with, uh, you know your passion how to not get distracted by the shiny objects and and I definitely have clarity that I can help people who are stuck as they're trying to grow their businesses and at this point that's going to be more of your you know solo entrepreneurial type versus like uh like a what, like a CEO or something like that, or working with big businesses. That's at this point, it could grow to that. But um, I'm very excited about that. So, so we are going to be um, <laughs> renaming the podcast. Uh, it was really cool. I was talking to my business coach, and and uh, the new podcast title is going to be Table Rush. Yes, table rush. And what was there? My tagline. All of a sudden, I've forgotten it. I had it written down, but of course, I'm out walking, so it just came to me as I hit pause and was walking by kids and families and such. Table rush. Getting back to the basics to grow your business. I'll say it again. Table rush. Getting back to business 
getting back to basics to grow your business, which I think is awesome. I think I definitely am good at uh, at uh, following steps to execute. I've talked about it on many episodes. Follow the instructions, do the basics, and you can get the results that are so oftentimes promised or that we've seen other people get the same results, get the results doing the same thing. So I think that's super cool. Um, Definitely going to be table rush. Most definitely, let's say 90 to 95%. Tagline still in flux. Tagline still in flux, still in play. Um, Originally, I was going to go bitch slap business edition, which I thought was pretty cool. To, and then it was like, hey, you know, the, the bitch slap is the smack on the side of the head telling you to uh, get back to basics. Like, quit chasing the shiny, shiny objects. Like, uh, let's get you unstuck. Let's, let's do the next indicated step that's right in front of you. Um, <laughs> but with the bitch slap moniker. Um, my coach very graciously said to me that probably a great time to drop the name, drop the word bitch from out of your podcast. So who knows what what the woke terms will be if I ever have enough success where people look at my old content and are shocked. <laughs> by what's out there (laughs) that'd be a fun problem to have I think an amazing problem to have Um, and I I think you know what value can can we learn like it's um you know from this or what can I learn or what's uh, the lesson I think that's there at least one of them for all of us is to stay tenacious in what we do, stay consistent in what we do, um, get connected enough with your, your purpose so that you can continue to take messy action and, uh, and then pivot accordingly. And I think it's a pretty big step for me to be willing to walk away from the bitch slap the accelerated path to peace and I was actually um, going to just shutter this whole podcast altogether and start anew but my coach Vince hello coach Vince if you're listening um, recommended hey you know what just rebrand your current one just rebrand your current one and have fun with it you know come up with a fun name have fun with it and and uh, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to <laughs> embrace the old content <laughs> and let it go and let it be there. So we'll just rebrand this and let it rip. And uh, in uh, three to five years, uh, as I have success, <laughs> what a great thing to be able to look back on. Uh, so that's one lesson. Um, I definitely think being willing to pivot quick is another one. I'm somehow willing to walk away from so much of what I have vested in, you know, the original idea that got me started here. But a um, bunch of other lessons in there, too. Um, as I'm walking, they're escaping me. But I think that's enough for now. I'm very excited to talk more about the new vision that I have about who I can help, you know, business-wise and help people, uh, you know, get back to the basics, get to the blocking and tackling so they can grow their business to that to that million-dollar mark, to that million-dollar annual revenue, revenue. And perhaps it's your first million dollars or perhaps it's consistently growing from a million dollars a year but I think that that's a beautiful place to start so love to all
Peace out. Thank you, thank you, thank you for spending time with me today. As someone who is committed to growth and service to this world, I so appreciate your willingness to come with me, go within, and serve our world through change. If you found value in this podcast and you know someone who can use this message, share this episode with them. Share it so our mission can be achieved one episode at a time. And of course, subscribe so you can hear more. And lastly, for more resources on what has helped me on my journey and can help you on yours, go to belove.media forward slash resources. That's B-E-L-O-V-E dot media forward slash resources. Thank you again for listening.